Hi guys, welcome back. Today it will be the first tutorial and we will start uh, the BLE peripheral programming and uh, uh, today we will see the basic uh, project settings and the uh, basic stuff uh, for the BLE and if you want to make uh, almost any application then, then you have to learn uh, the basics and everything so uh, don't worry I will be teaching you all the stuff so in the BLE there are two phases uh, the first one will be on the BLE peripheral the role as the peripheral or the slave device and the second uh, would be as the central right now we will just start with the peripheral because uh, most of the BLE devices uh, that we create with the NRF or Nordic uh, uh, chips we, we basically uh, create uh, peripheral devices in some special cases for example we are using more than two devices then we uh, sometimes use them as central so first of all we will go through the peripheral and we will see all the aspects of uh, the peripheral this tutorial uh, will be in uh, uh, some parts and uh, every uh, part will have a function and in that function uh, I will explain the stuff that's related to that function and why we are putting that function in the programming and why we are using that and uh, how it's working so let's uh, start the basic project so for the basic project uh, you need to know some files uh, that uh, you have to include in the project later on uh, once we finish uh, the basic discussion then I will uh, create the basic project but uh, I will uh, use a shortcut but before that uh, you need to know uh, what are the basic files that we will be using in this project there are many uh, files that we need uh, and uh, uh, if uh, you are not including these files in your project then it would be uh, causing you some troubles uh, and uh, maybe your project is not going to uh, compile the first uh, required file is boards.c and uh, of course uh, we if you haven't seen my previous tutorial just watch this tutorial that's why I created uh, the tutorials on hardware and all the other stuff uh, before uh, coming to the Bluetooth because in the Bluetooth we use almost everything so if uh, I'm just directly starting from the Bluetooth uh, then uh, whenever I go on the hardware side it would be really difficult uh, and confusing for the uh, beginners so it's uh, better if you go in uh, go through my previous uh, tutorial series uh, you have to watch them in series so that uh, you can grasp the knowledge of everything and how all the hardware is working so in the previous tutorials I have explained about both I have also explained about the BSP the both both package and uh, I have mentioned their locations and the location here is it shows components and boards and uh, the forward slash shows that I will be using these locations in the Sagari embedded studio and uh, I will show you how to put uh, how to connect these files I've already shown this in the previous tutorials but I will do it one more uh, once more uh, because uh, I want you guys to know everything the UTF file is for the conversion of uh, text formats and uh, we will be using this a lot we will be just using this these files uh, for the basic project and uh, these are the important files make sure you include them if they are not included in your project make sure they are included otherwise your uh, project will not work so BLE advertising data connections parameter and connection states uh, services and uh, advertising uh, BLE GAT and uh, Query Writer. Uh, we will learn this in the upcoming tutorials. And uh, in this basic project, uh, I forgot to mention one thing that uh, I will not go through services. I just want to show you how the basic uh, uh, feature and the setting and programming works. So we have to do all this uh, application programming first then we can put inside our other code and uh, additional code then we can uh, use our business logic on this application the next uh, one are the driver files we need to include these driver files because uh, the BLE uh, the soft device that we are using with our, our NRF52832 is uh, S132 uh, S132 can work both as a central and as well as peripheral 
we, we can also use S112 but I'm not going to use that uh, because uh, uh, I will show you a shortcut so you, it's easier for you to just uh, start get started with S132 and then later on uh, once you have mastered all the stuff in the Bluetooth then you can easily switch between the soft devices if you want to okay so uh, here uh, the basic drivers that soft device needs uh, uh, in the soft device uh, I have already uh, shown you the soft device uh, uh, documentation uh, if you haven't watched uh, that tutorial just watch my previous tutorial and uh, in that tutorial I have mentioned the documentation in the documentation uh, everything is mentioned the soft devices use uses some uh, some hardware peripherals and uh, some of the hardware peripherals are available to applications but they are in restricted mode we will see what is that and uh, some are blocked uh, that we cannot use them and uh, some of them are available uh, that is uh, the soft device is not using them so here nrf uh, drive clock we have uart and clock uh, everything all these drivers are uh, we have previously worked with these hardwares nrf nrf uh, soft device uh, soft device basically use them uh, for the debugging output and uh, uh, for the clocks uh, for the clock and uh, all this uh, basic stuff uh, because uh, it needs to have a clock uh, uh, for the communication procedures uh, for example uh, if uh, i want to advertise uh, for 160 seconds uh, only uh, then uh, we have uh, some specific uh, way to do that and uh, for that uh, there is a clock that's already working uh, that's already initialized and it, it uses RTC0 as I have mentioned previously when uh, I did the RTC tutorial I mentioned that uh, when we will use the soft device it will use RTC0 so we won't be able to uh, use RTC0 include when we include the soft device uh, when we are working on the Bluetooth application so you can use RTC1 or if you have RTC2 then you can also use RTC2 next is uh, some additional libraries and these libraries are of course uh, helpful and uh, they are needed uh, for the internal working of everything so we have to include them these are just uh, basically connected with the timers and buttons uh, and uh, hot fault implementation as you can see their names uh, suggest everything like fprintf and all the stuff the next one are the more additional libraries in this uh, we can see some power management and uh, ring buffer these are all libraries that are used uh, behind the scenes and uh, basically you won't be uh, just using them uh, they are just used behind the scenes uh, you need to include them in your project otherwise uh, you won't be able to compile your project for the logger we have to include uh, these files if you are using uh, Sager's uh, RTT library then you need to include RTT and if you are using UART then uh, you you need to include this UART if you are confused and you want you don't know which to use and uh, in the future you want to change it then include uh, both of them together and uh, in the future you can just uh, switch uh, RTT or UART just by going into the config.h file and uh, there uh, you can uh, enable or disable uh, the module this is uh, important for nrf logger and we will be using nrf logger because uh, there is a lot of information that's uh, displayed on the logger and uh, sometimes it's really helpful for especially for the debugging procedures it's uh, really helpful sometimes this happens that uh, our soft device is uh, using more ram and we have configured less ram uh, I will make a little tutorial on this as well so I will uh, show you how this error occurs and uh, how we can debug it so we will see how we can uh, add the uh, RAM and uh, how we can uh, change our RAM settings uh, so that our device can work uh, and uh, after this we have a uh, Sager RTT libraries we have to include them and uh, the soft device uh, libraries are uh, also important uh, because uh, if uh, you don't include them if you don't uh, include the soft device uh, files then uh, your application won't be able to call the soft device so be sure to uh, include them so here is our basic application structure and in this structure I haven't mentioned every single thing I'm showing just uh, how we have to write the code and uh, what things we need to do before our uh, BLE project is ready to do the communication so first of all we need to initialize log then we need to initialize app timer if you don't really know what's uh, the app timer just go and watch my previous tutorial on app timer application timer 
then uh, we have VSP both support package I al also did a tutorial on this so you can see my previous tutorial power management uh, initialization is also uh, necessary because uh, uh, the soft device manages the power so we need to initialize it and uh, I will make a tutorial on this and I will post it in the near future so that you can see in more details what the power management does and uh, then we have the soft device initialization so in the soft device initialization we have to do the four basic things we have to enable the soft device then we have to configure the BLE uh, protocol stack parameters and then we have to enable these protocol stack we have to enable this protocol stack and then we have to register this uh, protocol stack to start receiving events like it's basically similar to the interrupt programming that we did in the previous tutorials we just uh, uh, register uh, callback event function and in that uh, function uh, we will receive the events and uh, we will perform uh, the steps according to the received events for example we can receive events like uh, uh, connection or disconnection and uh, uh, some other types of events similar to this then we have gap initialization generic access profile and then we have GAT generic attributes and uh, then we have an uh, advertising initialization then services are also initialized and uh, the connection uh, the preferred connection parameters initialization is also done then after this step one we have just initialized everything now we are ready so we will just start the radio uh, by starting the radio it, I mean uh, we'll just uh, start the communication and uh, uh, then uh, uh, our processor will go into the idle state uh, in the idle state it will uh, the power management will handle everything and uh, the processor will go into the sleep state if uh, there is no communication and uh, there is no connection uh, once the Bluetooth connection is established uh, then uh, uh, we will receive events and uh, the processor will wake up and it will handle the events and in these events uh, we will uh, do our stuff like we will if we are receiving some data we will uh, receive the data and uh, if we are sending we will do this and uh, all of this is done in the services and uh, we will see how we will uh, manage that in the future but right now we just need to know how we can uh, program all of this uh, stuff and I will uh, go through everything one by one I will uh, explain the basics of everything so you don't need to worry well, first of all we will go through all of this and we will make a basic application and then later on we will add on more stuff and we will see all the other things that are related to BLE so now guys we are going to create a new project so first of all I will open this computer and uh, then go into the C directory here I have NRF SDK 17 and uh, I'm gonna go here in the examples once I open the examples I have my projects here and previously we tested the first BLE uh, project now we are going to start our own BLE programming so now we are going to get the template project so that, so that we can modify it so first of all I will go to BLE peripherals and from here I will copy BLE app template and then I will paste it into my projects here I'm gonna paste it here and let's rename it as base app project so this code will be similar to all the other projects that we will be doing in the future and uh, it will be almost similar so we can always take this code and start from here and uh, this would be the most basic application code and in this uh, code we are just initializing and connecting all the points together to make the application work and uh, here we will uh, also discuss uh, all of the basic stuff so so in the upcoming tutorials I will uh, mention everything and uh, we will go through everything uh, step by step so first of all I'm gonna open this uh, base uh, be a base app project and uh, this time I'm using NRF 52840 because uh, previously I have been using NRF 52832 and uh, some guys uh, were asking about uh, what about NRF 52840 so basically the code for BLE is similar and uh, we are we don't we don't need to change anything for the BLE only 
Of course, uh, if you are using NRF 52832, then uh, there you would have a special difference between the peripheral devices uh, between the peripherals that are available in NRF 52832 and NRF 52840. So I'm gonna open PCA 10056, and here I have the soft device S140. So as uh, I have already mentioned in a previous tutorial, so if you are just launching, uh, if you are just coming to this tutorial directly, you should watch my previous tutorial in which I have uh, told all the basic details related to S140, S132 and what are the soft devices themselves. So first I'm gonna open this one, S140 and uh, here I have the SES folder which is Sagari Embedded Studio and I'm gonna open this uh, EM project file. And here you go over Sagar Embedded Studio is opened. And uh, let me remove some stuff and uh, then we will start the programming from basics. Here if we sh see this, we see lots of files here, lots of header files and uh, a lot of things uh, that would confuse a beginner at the first time. If he sees so much code, he's going to say like uh, where to start and uh, what to do. You don't need to worry because I will go through every single line of the code one by one and we will create it from the scratch. So I will remove all of this code and we will create uh, a basic application so that uh, everybody can see that how it works. So I'm gonna remove all of the stuff from here. Let's remove everything and I will just let the main and here so this is our basic code and why uh, here so this is our basic code and nothing else is uh, present uh, here I'm using the template uh, project because uh, a template project has uh, all of the files and uh, it's easier to directly start working with the uh, with the code so this is the basic code and uh, now in the next tutorial uh, I will start one by one uh, like what we have to do, what's the first thing we need to program and what's the second thing we need to program and all one by one we will create some functions and then we will uh, finally call them and uh, re as uh, you have s already seen that uh, BLE programming is basically event based programming so we will just receive the uh, interrupts basically the events uh, from the BLE protocol stack so we will receive these events and we will see how we have we are going to receive these events so we will program the all of this stuff uh, thanks for watching this tutorial for now this is enough and uh, uh, in the next tutorial we will see what uh, was the first thing that we need to do uh, in our basic BLE project thank you very much for watching see you in the next video